Well, welcome back to um, DOS mod, Poland, Lithuania, Empire Total War. Um, it's a short campaign, but uh, one or two people have said to me that uh, they want me to continue. So I've got a couple say, I think it's all over, and a couple say, no, I want you to continue. So I, I'm a bit uh, nonplussed at the moment. But anyway, the suggestion was, while you think about doing something else, why don't you carry on with this? Well, I think that's a good suggestion, isn't it? So if something does come along, I can just stop this, can't I? But... Anyway, we'll see. Um, as I said, it's not really all over. We're now at war with Spain. You don't really know what might happen. It's, these things are not as easy as sometimes they seem. <laughs> anyway, I've landed here, landed all my men here. Um, I've decided that what I'm going to do is take my fleet um, and attack him with my fleet. Uh, it's a bit silly, really, because I've got other troops around that I could use from various places. Uh, in fact, Hey, looks like I've moved too far now anyway to be able to move anyway, so uh, it's like the only choice I now have is to attack that fleet anyway, so let's let's go for it. Um, I suspect what's going to happen here is one of two things. He's either going to come and attack me in there, um, and I'm going to have to bring these on as reinforcements, or, um, yeah, that's the foot, that is, the infantry, or what's happened is he's going to, um, uh, he's going to attack here and besiege it. I'm not sure if he can besiege it while I'm there, but anyway, we'll see. For now, what I'm going to do is take out this with only four... Uh, with only four ships. So, let's see if we can manage this. Hmm, actually, that was going a bit slow, wasn't it? First of all, let's see how many he's got in here. Oh, it's against me. I thought it would be. Uh, mind you, look at these. Okay, they've, they've got extra chevrons, haven't they? But, um, I don't think they're that brilliant, really. Uh, six rate. Six rate. Six rate. Fifth rate. They're not brilliant ships. Um... I think we should be able to... Oh, I thought it would tell me a little bit more about them, but it doesn't, does it? Okay, firepower speed. Okay, hull strength, 4,000. His hull strengths are 3,100 at best, aren't they? He's going to go um, for cannon shot, isn't he? Looking at his ships with only a small number of guns, it looks to me as though what I should do is outgun him. In other words, take his cannons away rather than take his sails away, which is what I would normally do. You know, take the sails away, that is. So I, I think, okay, let, let's go for it anyway, and I'll bring you into the battle when we get in there. Well, it looks like this is about when the fun's about to start. We've got um, top sails, or top gallants, if you like, um, and we're chasing the wind much quicker than he is. Uh, we certainly ought to be, anyway. Come on, then. Right. And... I don't know why he's falling behind so far. That's very silly. I wonder if his full sails weren't up. I don't know why, because I've asked them all to go with full sail. So that's a bit of a pain that they got separated. Anyhow, first one should be going in shortly. Remember what I said. What we want to do, I mean in some ways it might be good to just take out those sails just to slow everything down there, but no, I want to um, blast his hulls and take out some of his um, guns. What's he got on there? 28 out of 48 on there. Come on, you need to go quicker than that. Oh, very traditional battle this one, isn't it? Right, that was 28. What's he got now? 27. He's only lost one gun. But he'll have taken hull damage. That's the main thing. Right. Hope they'll have a blast as well. Uh, bring these up. Come on, lads. Don't mess around now. And these. You're going slowly. Come on. I don't want slow. I want ultra-fast. Right, okay, let's spin him round, and we'll spin him round as well. Not him yet, because he's not close enough. We might be getting close enough soon. Let's see where those others are going, so there's not a clash. Might be a clash there, you know. Let's turn a bit. Is he going to get a shot in? Come on, please. Left side? 
No, can't quite reach, I'm afraid. That's a nuisance. Well, he's going to have to come round anyway. Well, like I said, there will be a clash. Come on, let's have a go. How many has he got now? Still got 27. 77 men left. He's down to 25 now. I'm hoping he's lost most of them on this side. Uh, that should give us a distinct advantage on there then. That's excellent. Good. Okay. Keep turning, lads. Keep turning. Right. Come on. Let's get a bash out of that one as well. That's his main ship, you see. That's his forward ship. That's the one that had most of the guns. Um, I just want to blow it up, really. Mainly because... We can only engage with ball. We can only engage at long range with ball anyway. So it's uh, the best way to go about it, I think. Did he fire then? Right side. Yes, he did. That's excellent. Okay. Come on round. How many has he got now? Twenty-one. He'll have lost most of them on this side. So that's twenty-eight. He's lost nine guns on this side. Oh, that's got to be good, hasn't it? Out of twenty-eight. Oh no, no. He's down to twenty-five. That's all. Oh, that's pretty poor, actually. That's disappointing. Okay, seems to have a ship missing somewhere. Where's the other one? Here he is. Okay, use your tactics. Spinning round in order to um, hit him with both sides of my ships. Uh, his hulls actually seem to be doing really well, don't they? I don't quite know why. Got all that green under there. He should really be suffering now. Hmm. <laughs> is that all he's got on that side? Not like just one gun on that side then, didn't it? Well, if that's all he's got, I'm afraid he's had it. Let's pull back a bit, make sure we're not colliding with anybody. No, oh, seems to be okay. Aha! I think that's his first one about ready to go, isn't it, really? Let's turn these round. Uh, turn him round. And how's he doing left and right? Oh, left! He's got a shot! Right. Come on, hurry up. Right. Let's get that left-hand side shot in, please. Yep, excellent. Okay, what's he down to now? 23. Surely he's beginning to suffer there now, isn't he? Must be. Come on, turn. Right. Okay. Right. Might be reloaded on the left before he's turned around to the right, him. A little bit concerned about him firing at my own man. Is he going to miss there? Yes, I think so. Just. Only just. Okay. What you don't want to do is get split up from your own ships, of course. Total change for me, this. Going for ball instead of for sail. Yeah, going for hulls, rather. Instead of sails. He got left side? Yes, he has. I don't want to spend too much time on this battle. Um, if it's going to start interfering with the next battle, then I'll pack it in and I'll... Well, not pack in, but... Um, uh, hang on a minute. Might be worth continuing around that one, actually, you know. Uh, yeah, I think I'll continue with that one there. Um, now, I don't want him on automatic fire. Fire at will, that is. I only want him to fire when he's away from my own ship there. Okay, I think that one should be alright. Yep, alright. Now, any right side left? 14. Full on the left. Oh, alright, right side's fired now. Okay, come on, get round him. Mm. 
Hmm, so watch those carefully. I got to fire. Come on. Oh, not in range. What a nuisance. Just outside range, I bet. Oh, I could do with him firing his right side there. He's almost ready, isn't he? Is he completely out of range? He is, isn't he? Oh. That's a shame. Okay, I'm going to have to pull him round then. Oh, he's going to be wasted. Uh, what have we got him there now? 58 out of 58, 195 out of 195. He's doing well. Doing really well, in fact. Uh, in fact, so well. I think I'm going to put him back there. Give him another blast. Um, now, come on, you boys. Are you within range? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to follow him round there, aren't we? How am I doing for time? Oh, we're still okay. 12 minutes, isn't it? So that's okay. I, I would normally speed this up, actually, to be honest, when I'm playing on my own, but um, I want to be just that little bit extra careful, you know, because I'm talking at the same time. It makes it uh, just a little bit more difficult. Uh, right. Oh, I'm thinking I might just get a right side in against that forward ship, if I'm lucky. Mm, nearly. The AI is being much more intelligent with its um, uh, ships than it ever used to be, of course. Right, has he had it yet? No. Right side, ready to fire? Nearly? Oh no, 2-1. He's already fired. OK, let's come round to the left then. Is he gone? Shaken. See, if they rout, then I'm not going to get them, I'm afraid. Right side. Okay, yeah, move further in, I'm afraid. How many guns he got left on that now? 20. Okay. 62 men left. When one of his ships is gone, I might well just board the others. Uh, because I've got a lot more men than he's got. I thought one of my ships flashed then. Hope not. What's this? Come on. Going against the wind now, of course, so we're a bit slower. But he's going against the wind as well, so we're all going slow. So it shouldn't be a big problem, should it? Okay, left side. Oh, they've already fired. Missed it. <laughs> or rather, I missed watching it, I should say. Okay, well, I think we'll go around again, to be honest, on that one. Uh, him, I'll keep him there. Uh, these, still firing, they should be okay. It's just him that's sort of out of it at the moment, isn't it, really? I think to get him a little bit more occupied. What about him? It's going to be a collision there, if I'm not careful. So, yeah, I'm afraid he's going to have to turn. I mean, where did I ask him to go then? Right. Wrong ship again. I mean, somebody pointed out recently, didn't they? So it wasn't your men that wasn't doing what you wanted them to do. It was you that were telling them to do something you didn't want them to do. Which makes sense, doesn't it? Well, it does to me, anyway. <laughs> okay, right side, come on. It takes a lot longer when you're blowing them up as well, doesn't it? But you see, what it also does is take some of his men away for when I'm ready to uh, board him. Mm. OK, we're seeing some quite damaged hulls here now. Do you see this? All this orange appearing on the bottom. I mean, it looks like that one's virtually had it, doesn't it? Many guns destroyed. I mean, to be fair, they started with a lot of their guns out anyway, didn't they? So. I think maybe I should have gone on taking out their sails, you know, really. Maybe if they go into the wind next time, I will do. Oh, we'll see. Hmm, right side, left side. 
Not yet. Uh, oh, he should be able to fire soon. Come on, hurry up. Oh, I want a collision. I'm going to get a collision. Right, just wavering. Could have done with him blowing up, really. Doing the decent thing. <laughs> side, no, left side almost have to be careful with those ships oh, we're going to end up in trouble right side fire, come on surely you can fire at somebody, you he's been totally useless, hasn't he <laughs> ok, I know it's me that's been useless, putting him in position <laughs> or in the wrong position I should say, hang on turning him the wrong way now Now I'm hoping to get another shot against that one there. Oh, what about him? Just wavering. Come on, can you hit anybody yet? Ah! He has actually fired. He must have done. Right. I'm not too worried about damage to my ships. These are my poorer ships, so I'm quite happy to lose them, really, in a way. Okay, surely that's the end of him now. Right. I just want to blow one or two of them up. You know, and then I can engage the others, you know, by boarding them or whatever, you know. I think right now I'm just going to have to keep up with them. Oh, they're going to get away from me, aren't they? Wavering. I haven't even got one surrendered yet. Come on. <laughs> what have I got on these? I've still got 100 odd men on each of these ships. 164, that was 190. You see, he's got about 30 odd men. What's, what's he got on that one? 33. 69. You see, the best he's got is 69. So, I need to start boarding him, really, fairly soon. Right, now I think what I'll do now, take them off auto fire, and I'm going to get him on chain shot, and we're going to go across him with chain shot. Okay. Right, now, can he fire yet? Not quite. I'm going to take out those cells with chain. As soon as we can fire. Come on, he's got a lot of sail up there now. One. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> God, this is supposed to be fast loading. See what I mean? So it's so much easier just to turn round, you know, than to actually go broadside and reload. Right side. Yes! Last. Right, now we'll have him. Yes, excellent. Right, no, wavering. I just want to take one of them out. <laughs> just one would be nice. Um, how's he doing on the right? Not quite yet. Okay. Come on, just one of you out of it. Can he reach? Yes, just. Okay. Uh, 30, 24. Right, more sail. He's concerned about hull damage and he's losing sail. Come 
come on, I just want to take that sail out. If I take that sail out, he'll stop. And that could well be him completely out of it then. I don't know how many guns he's got left on there now. Probably not many. 18 he's got left now, so he's got 9 aside if he's lucky. 54 men. So boarding is going to be fun, isn't it? Are you keeping up? Yep, just. Uh, and you. Yep, oh, should get another one in soon. Come on. Come on. Yep, excellent. Right, okay, I don't know how many guns he's got left now. What's he got? Uh, 18 out of 48. Of course, he started on a reduced number. I surrendered. Now, that's what I wanted. Excellent stuff. Right, okay. Oh, I was hoping it might slow down the rest of his fleet, but it isn't doing, is it? Um, right, can he go chain? Can he reach? Yes, he can. Hmm, only just. Right, 2 out of 24. He's got a good sail up there, hasn't he? Look at that. Come on, let's have that sail. Yeah, I've got some of it anyway. Two. Right, I'm going to cut through. Um, okay. Now then. No, he hasn't got much sail up, so I'm not too worried about him. Come on, where are you? Whoops. Now, straight through the middle. Come on, yes. Sail. Oh, he's, oh, he's routing. Oh, he's going to get away. That's a nuisance. That is a nuisance. What about him? Routing. Second one routing. Nuisance. Okay. In fact, left side has got more chance of firing, hasn't it? Let's see if I can get one ball in against him on left side. Uh, that might make the difference. Okay, he's got two routing ships. Well, it doesn't matter. They're out of it then, aren't they? So, okay. Let's um, engage these with chain then, shall we? No, there's no point, you know. He's just not in a position where we can effectively use chain shot. Okay, still on ball then. These might stop routing, to be honest. Oh, is that sunk? Oh, that's a shame. I lost it anyway. <laughs> oh, well, I intended to blow him out of the water anyway. That's one getting away. That's one reason to have a Carrick. Um, so you can go chasing after people. Carrick, sloop, whatever you want to call it. We get a final shot in. Yep, one final shot. Concerned most guns destroy. He's not going to come back, is he? One nuisance, eh? Right. No, he's not going to get a final one in. Okay, so it's surrendered, um, concerned, dismastered, and these here, uh, wavering, shaken. Right, okay. Uh, right, okay, let's go in against the, um, the rigging of these ships then. Not with these though, because they can't reach. Uh, yeah, gone. I can't know anything about that. There's no way I'm going to go quick enough to catch him. Quickly enough, I should say. Right. Wavering. See, the thing is, I don't need the money, so I don't need to capture any of these ships. Um, and I don't even need to keep my own, so quite a luxurious battle for myself, really, this one, isn't it? Um, hmm... Look at all that sail he's got on there. Oh, I've got to have that. Just can't not, can I? Can't not have that sail. What about these as well? Oof. Come on. Surely he's going to put that sail up soon, isn't he? He's not going to leave that like that. Yeah, it's chain. Ah. Nope, I'm going to continue this. 
Right, come on. I need to take that out, you see, so that uh, so he can't get away. Come on then, that's the way. Right, surrendered. Brilliant. Right, now all we need is this one up here. And this one is routing. Right. Oh, him on chain as well. I don't see any point in capturing these ships. Maybe I could take some of the slightly better... Oh, I don't want six rates, do I? Um. Hmm. Okay, it's just going to be a case of picking that one up, isn't it, really? Uh, what this is going to enable me to do is get troops onto that island, you see, in the future. Routing. Come on. Let's have you. Let's, let's be having you. Yeah? Gay girl rode that, you know, that's what we call it. Let's be having you. Uh. Come on. Let's speed this up a little bit then, just to finish it off. It's taking forever, isn't it? This is another reason why I go for grape shot, you know, because, um, chain shot, sorry. Because ball is just, you know, they survive ball so much. Which is right, you know, ships in the period, they just lasted forever, didn't they, really? But, you know, they fire at each other for hours and hours on end, couldn't they? Okay, surely this has to be it. Whoops. Yeah? What is Maybe he just hasn't got any right-sided 26. Come on. Right. Okay, well he still hasn't got him. So... Oh, hang on, he might be able to. Right. Now then. Let's board. Oh, surrendered. That's it. So what are we waiting for now? Probably him, isn't it? Over here. Miles away. Um, there's no way we're going to catch him. Uh, I don't know how near he is to the edge, but he'll not be far away. And there's no way we're going to get to him. So looking at the speed he's going as well, he's doing a decent speed there, isn't he? He's got a decent sail as well on that. So what's he getting away with? It's... Um, a six-rate rubbish anyway. He's got seven guns on it and 23 men. So, okay, double the speed on that one and watch it go. I'll send one after him, but there's not much chance, really. There's no chance, really. Okay, and then we'll watch that chase off. Oh, in fact, I should watch that in case he doesn't go piling into my own men. Huh. Right. In fact, no, take him off there and do it with this one. Come on. Actually, we're going into the wind. We've got top gallants. Where is the enemy now? I think he's gone. There's somebody else routing. Ah, now that I didn't realise. I honestly thought we'd got everybody. I really did. Hmm. What sort of sails this one got? 
Well, see, he's got a decent sale as well. Look at that. Six rate's going to be quicker than mine as well. And, you look on there, he's got a virtual full sale, isn't he? A virtual full sale, yeah. Literally a virtual full sale. Okay, so I've got one attempting to board. I've got another one chasing. Uh, we're going against the wind. So our sails and top gallants aren't going to make any difference to us whatsoever. Um, he's hoping to uh, to board. I don't know if he's going to catch him. I really don't. Anyway. Might just have to blow him up. If we can get near enough, that is. I thought we got everybody, you know. I could have sworn everybody was routing, but obviously not. Are we catching up, or what What do you think? Otherwise I can just end battle, you see. Because it's still my win now, anyway, regardless of what happens. Anyway, I'll, sh I'll just show you the results. There's no point in... I, I spent half my hour um, just doing this one battle. So, um, uh, somebody said they don't see enough battles. So, uh, I've seen one now. Anyway, and I'm hoping to get that one with all the guard on as well. That's going to be the most fun one. I might just do that as, um, you know, uh, a save battle. You know, as you do, I'll play it, save it, and then do the commentary on uh, the final battle as it plays out. But uh, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't think I explained that very well. But anyway, OK, almost over, and I'll show you the results. Well, it looks as though I caught him. I didn't, actually. He just kept running and running and running, or sailing away. I presume he surrendered at some point, just gave up when I got too close to him with two of my ships. Anyway, he's got one remaining. Uh, annoying, really, but hey, there you go. Uh, what is that one? It's a 6 or 8, that's rubbish. That one is a 6 or 8, that's rubbish. 5th rate, I'll keep the 5th rate. Uh, shall I keep the two 5th rates? Uh, maybe I will. I don't think I'm going to need them. I don't think I'm going to need any of these, am I? They're just a pile of rubbish, aren't they, really? I've got those 1st rates coming over, haven't I? So, no, I'm just going to take the prize money, 2,783. But I don't need the prize money either, do I? Um. OK, I'll keep the two fifth rates then, even though I don't really want them. Prize money is now 1127. OK, what's he going to do with that other ship then? Where's it gone? Right. Hang on a minute. It's just vanished. Right, well that's all a bit odd, isn't it really? Um, it just vanished. Hmm. Strange. Uh, what treats have I got over here? Any others I can bring in? Uh, yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is recruit... I was going to say I'll recruit some horse. I can't get any horse. Why can't you get any horse in this part of the world? It's crazy, isn't it? All I can get is dragoons. I've got nothing to defend my artillery with. This is the problem. And I don't know where I'm going to get any from either. <laughs> um... Can these recruit? Not that he's going to let me, is he? No? Um, the only place I seem to be able to recruit from is down here, and there's these Indian-type horse, isn't there? Uh, these. How many horse have I got down here, anyway? None! I haven't even recruited any. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I don't know where to get horse from, and I need horse to protect the artillery. Nope, I can't get any horse anywhere. That's extraordinary, isn't it? I need a barracks over here somewhere. I've got to take somewhere, one of these Spanish territories, haven't I? That's going to give me some horse. Uh, what about Cuba? Does that do any? No. I need something with a proper barracks, you know, a decent sized city. Maybe there just isn't anything over this side, I don't know, but... Okay, um, what have I got in here? I've got these, yep, and I've got these. So, I'm going to have to have a general in there. And I'll put a general in here as well. Might as well, because um, uh, it's the only way, isn't it? Right. And then if I put these... I don't think they need to go back there, do they? Um, where shall I put all these fleets? This is a big question. I think I'll put those two fifth rates into here. And get them replenishing. Come on, are you moving quickly? No, you're not. You are now. Okay, so I'll get those replenishing. And 
<coughs> picked up the skill and experience from his ships, didn't I? And our recruit. Ah, oh dear me. See, those mortars are no good to me, were they? I wonder if I take a couple of these over. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take a couple of those over next turn after they've replenished, after those ships have repaired, been repaired, I should say. OK, put those in here and repair those. 365 is all that I lost on there. 365, that's excellent, isn't it? OK, well, let's see if he goes for it then. Right, now the next thing was, um, I know I've got other things to sort out over there as well. In fact, I'll try recruiting here, but I don't think there's any chance I'm going to actually recruit anything there. But, um, oh, you never know. Um, and we'll go over here. Just had a thought then about how it's as, maybe not how it's as, maybe I should have cannon instead, but... Never mind. OK, now over here, if you remember, the Spanish have attacked me, and I've got that large, large um, guard army over here somewhere, haven't I? Now, if you remember somebody said, don't finish the campaign without using the guard, well, um, they've got their wish. Have you planned something? Have you done something? Has this been a Steam update? You've had a word with Steam, haven't you? And said, look, scupper him, will you, for me? <laughs> so he's got to play those guard first. Right, income, 1361. Uh, right, it's Catholic already, so that's good for us. And, um, uh, where is it? This one, isn't it, I'm looking for? Yeah, you see nothing. No fortification in there whatsoever. So all we've got to do is take out militia. And I've got how long to do it? 23 minutes. That should easily be possible. But what I'm going to do is do this on, um, uh, I'm going to fight the battle. But then what I'll do is I'll, um, uh, show um, right okay you know you fight the battle after the battle you say view the battle so you then watch the battle go ahead as it was actually fought uh, as you fought it but you can get close-ups of your men while you're doing it that's the thing. anyway that's what I'm trying to say I'm gonna do <laughs> um, I'm not sure I need these um, but I think my howitzer should be enough because I don't he hasn't even got any artillery so it's gonna be a case of shooting at him um, with my uh, with my howitzers um, and putting the puckle guns out there in front and then attacking him with the rest of this army but I don't need the militia and I don't need the guns so what I do need is some better troops to add to it so what I'll do is I'll put in um, a couple of um, a couple of uh, horse units I think yeah a couple of cavalry units and I think that should do it because he hasn't even got any cavalry yet. oh yeah yeah he has actually He's got these provincial cavalry. Well, provincial cavalry aren't as good. That's 8, 11, 11, and 5. And mine are 11, 12, 13, 7. I haven't shown battles like this normally because, uh, well, it's just easy, isn't it? It's an easy battle for me. So I'm thinking, well, nobody's going to want to see that. Um, but it shows the guard in action. That's the main thing, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, okay. Right. Oh, they're coming on anyway. Continue siege. Is it because they're in here? It is actually. There are two chevron horses as well, those. What have we got in here? There's one chevron horse. Right, okay, well let's put a two chevron horse in the attack there. And uh, oh, I don't know. Another single chevron horse in there. OK, I don't think I'm going to need any reinforcements in this. Um, so I'm not going to bother with them. I don't think I'll waste horse on there, though. I think I'll just put... Oh, I don't need artillery in there, do I? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll put... Um, um, one unit of foot in there to look after that place. I don't think I really need it, to be honest. In fact, let's put the whole lot in there for now and then decide what we're going to do with them afterwards, because they're going to need to move, aren't they, really? Look at all these in here as well. Oh, wow. Anyway, not got much time left. Oh, 21 minutes to show this battle. Let's go for it. Um, right. Uh, where are we? There it is. Hang on. Nearly attacked with the wrong force, then. OK, I could demand surrender. Look, it's only just slightly in my favour. That's a f almost a 50-50, that, you know. 
there's a good chance I would lose that. Anyway, let's see some puckle guns in action. Let's see the howitzers blasting away with the latest percussion caps, is it? Or is that for normal artillery? Not too sure. Um, and let's see the guard go in in action, making a mess of him. I wonder if I can do a fire in advance with those guard, because I don't seem to be able to do it with any of my other troops. So, okay, let's go and make a mess of him. Uh, what? Yeah, okay, so all I'm going to do is fight it, and then afterwards at the end I've got to remember to click the camera thing. Not that one. We'll click that, because that's a save game thing, but click the camera thing um, that will um, then allow me to replay the battle. So, here goes. Anyway, I'll, sh I'll uh, bring you into the battle as soon as it's um, as soon as it's been played, and I can. Well, here we are in the middle of the battle. Um, he doesn't stand much of a chance, of course. These are my um, uh, howitzers, 24 pounder howitzers, and they're targeting his horse. Uh, I'm hitting him supposedly with percussion caps, but um, unfortunately we don't seem to cause much damage. Sorry, I'm flying over here trying to find his horse. Um, there they are. See if we actually hit any. I'm curious, really. You know, we fired at them enough times and hardly seem to do any damage. Of course, I, I'm doing the battle replay, so I know exactly what the result is and exactly what happened. Which no bad thing in some ways. Let's just see what actually happens in a shot on here. Because, of course, I didn't get a chance to see this. I targeted his horse in the hope that they would charge before his infantry got anywhere near. And then... Uh, and then took care of the rest of the battle, watched the rest of the battle. Interesting to see how the AI performs in this one. I left my men very much in one position, whoops, just to see what would happen. See, look, he's hidden his men actually behind a building here, and I wonder if that's maybe what's made such an incredible difference to him, or for him. Right, there we go. These are the percussion shells going over. Wow, look at that. I didn't even hear... Nothing happened, did it, hardly? Way over here. Uh, oops. Looks like they might have hit somebody here, didn't it? Well, never mind. Anyway, that's pretty dull. Let's go and have a look at the Puckle Guns. They were good fun. And thanks for the advice. I, I did I did enjoy having the Puckle Guns. They were great fun. And it won't let me select anything in this, of course, because I'm, I'm just doing the, the video replay, but... Um, that I had a problem with the positioning of my puckle guns. If you look down here, you'll see that there's actually a brow of a hill there. And of course that meant that I wasn't able to hit his men as effectively as I'd like to have done. Um, they're all militia, so they all look the same. You see there, um, shows you, what is it? 282 out of 300. It's probably only the puckle guns that have done that. So what have they done? They've got 18 casualties. They've inflicted 18. Which is pretty poor, isn't it, really? The good news is about the puckle gun is the range. They're really good. They're better than canister, I think. Um, they've got a range of something like... They seem to be able to fire all the way over here. So they've got a range of something like... Like an arc of something like this, which I thought was pretty darn good, to be honest with you. It's just the positioning I'd put them in. That was the problem. Now, the interesting thing is... The way he extends his line, his line is way out there, even though I've given him no one to fight out there at all. I've rested my left flank on this building here. I, the, the edge of the battlefield isn't far away. Oh, on this side actually it is, come to think of it. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's the other side that isn't very far away, isn't it? So, I'm looking, looking all the way down the line here now. You should be able to see my guards here next to it. These are just line infantry on the, on the corner here. You'll see that they're going to have to do a lot of work actually, they really are, because there's a big flanking movement went on there and I didn't put any troops in the rear for dealing with um, with uh, any flank attacks at all. Uh, I just wanted to see mostly what, what the enemy were going to do, you know, with regard to um, you know attacking somebody that does nothing back. I was just wondering then if I could watch those percussion shells go over, but ah uh, yeah, you see them there, can't you? I don't know what sort of effect they had then. Here. Now, see a little 88 out of 99. They must have fired about three, at least three times by now. Maybe four. What's they done? They've killed one man, maybe? I'm not too sure, really. But Anyway, um, we've got the overlap on this side, or he's got the overlap on this side, I should say. So he's got about four units there that are completely out of the action, while this unit here is taking the brunt of all the firing, which I thought was really strange. But then... There is a problem with getting through a town like this, and of course he's got to do it. The onus is on him doing that, because I've got the superior artillery. So, what's that, 275 out of 300? 
Does it show any going down to the buckle guns? Whoops! Right. There's buckle guns going off. 274. You see, I think hardly anybody's being hit there because of the brow of that hill. You see that there? It's obscuring their fire. So they're just sort of um, just below the ridge there, aren't they? So they're fairly safe because of that. Okay, but I mean, if they come any closer, of course, my puckle guns are going to have them, aren't they? <laughs> okay. Um, now again, it, it falls into a bit of a lull, this, because what he's doing is he's outflanking me. He's coming all the way around here. He brought his um, general round as well at one stage here, um, obviously with an intention to take out my... Uh, my flank here to attack, perhaps even in the rear around the back of that building there. So I brought my horse over. My horse were originally sort of around here or there or whatever. I've just sort of aimed them this way. So if the general does come across this way, then I'm ready for him and ready to attack back. Or counter-attack is the best way to describe it, isn't it? But if you look here, he's, he's going back. So he didn't seem to be doing anything. He was bringing a lot of troops around there, but he wasn't doing anything with them. And of course, while he was doing that, he was exposed to musketry fire here. I think he's actually in range now. So he should be taking some hits now, is he? No, not quite. He's not quite coming to range yet. So, uh, tactically, he's doing quite well, the AI, because what he's doing is he's um, holding me in the centre while he uses his flank advantage. The only problem is that he's got very little chance against um, an army like mine. I could always refuse flanks, you know, sort of angle in this way which means then that he's got men all spread out all over the place largely not in the action at all but anyhow let's see what these do over here still nothing but he is now quite literally behind my flank if you look here if i was to create a right angle from here you'll see that he's actually gone behind my flank there just uh, all the way up there, just come behind the flank, a little bit further, and he's behind the rear as well. And does, does it tell me if they're unhappy or anything like that? Encouraged and inspired by a nearby unit, yeah, okay, hmm, doesn't say anything about, oh, hang on, that's foot guards. Uh, line infantry, encouraged and inspired by a nearby unit, ah, oh, no, it doesn't say anything else. They'll be encouraged, of course, because they've got the guard next to them, and that always makes a difference. Now, have my puckle gun started to do anything useful yet? Nope. Oh, by the way, the chap who said um, that people say I've got an accent, he said he can't pick one up and he's British. Well, that's probably because the people that are saying I've got an accent are not British. They're, they're probably finding that I've got an English accent. <laughs> that's probably what they're talking about. Now, that's why you, you can't pick it up, because um, you speak the same, speak with the same accent. That's the thing. Oh, very similar, anyway. So, OK, decent rank fire going in there. They're the um, foot guards um, showing the militia how to fire their muskets. A um, bit of a training session for them, but it's going to be a very hard learnt lesson for them, I'm afraid. What have they got there? 273 out of 300, or is it 275? I don't know. They've only lost 25, though, but they are at the absolute extreme range for my guard as well, aren't they? So, I mean, the guard fire at the same range as other infantry units, so they are really at the extreme range. I've also thinned out this line quite a lot. You'll have noticed that what I've done is I've taken my uh, infantry unit from here and put it over there, and then extended the line of the guard here, which isn't too bad, because I'm um, three ranks deep uh, uh, most of the way. What I would have normally done, if I'd have felt any kind of a threat in a battle like this, then I'd have extended this line, I'd have had them only three ranks deep, and then I'd have had my flanking units almost in columns, really, so that I could just extend in order to defend against any kind of flanking attack. Well... OK, we're still hearing those go off, and we're seeing the casualties go down, slowly but surely, but nothing spectacular is happening over there, is it, really? Right, still nothing over there. Let's go and have a look at the, uh, the guards all lined up, waiting to do something useful. These are guards. I think the guards are the ones with nappies on. You see these here? <laughs> these white patches here. They're the guard, aren't they, you see? Polish guards. Good boys. Okay, just have a quick scout all the way up here. 
Yep, he's going completely around the flank here. I did suspect he was going to march straight past, but the AI in this is not as stupid as, as it has been in the past. So he's not going to do that. He is actually going to line up and gain some kind of an advantage. At the moment, only 221 out of 225, you know, so we're doing quite well. Um, he's lost, well, I don't know, 20 odd or something like that. That's all. So we're sort of giving each other fire at the moment. I should really have narrowed this line, or rather extended it even more and then brought some round, but I didn't want to expose my guns. I didn't want to move my guns. I want to keep them firing against his provincial horse. Bearing in mind they've been firing against that provincial horse now for what, nearly 10 minutes, so they must have shot them about 20 times, so you'd expect them now to be completely ragged, wouldn't you? They're not though, they're still decent enough to be able to put in a decent charge, or am I spilling the beans there a bit? Right, well let's um, speed this up a little bit, because um, it's very much of the same for a while, you can see him um, going over the flank there, uh, you can see what's happening over here. He's just sort of like pinning my main line, and of course I didn't um, respond to it. I didn't thin out at all, you know, um, in order to extend the line this way, which I could well have done. Oh, I've got five ranks deep there. Could have easily thinned out the whole of that line there to come along here, and decided not to. I just wanted to see really what he was going to do. I wanted to know if he was going to be completely stupid with these units over here, because you can see he's got um, what is it? One, two, three, four. I think there's four, aren't there? four units completely out of the battle but having said that all of them are out of the battle because these here are simply pinning and doing nothing else right well my guards have obviously got the better of these eventually 98 out of 309 they're only broken though so they can come back so the guards could now pick on another target of course 169 out of 188 so they've completely routed a unit there um, and taken hardly any casualties themselves so uh, pretty darn good aren't they you're not going to hear any sound effects now of course because i've got it on extra speed i want to make sure that i have time to complete the battle now these here are these just line infantry yeah they're line infantry aren't they but they're still doing the rank firing aren't they Ooh, look at the chevrons on those as well excellent stuff okay now is he, has he gone completely behind the flank yet not quite just about here but he is coming round. have you noticed we're starting to get an incline here um, so we're not getting them marching through this way or anything we're not getting them doing any staggered effect we are getting a decent incline he is move maneuvering his troops appropriately at the moment so, I mean, not quite as well as um, as a human would do but he is certainly maneuvering them right now let's just go and have a quick look at these puckle guns on normal speed um, might be interesting to see them go off Now they've not only taken hits from the buckle guns of course, they've taken them from elsewhere, but if you look at that it says under artillery attack and they've got 225 out of 300. That's what's routed them, being under artillery attack. Well, and having no friends nearby presumably, but um, yeah, they've only got 225 out of 300. Well, they've only lost from 300 down to 225, which is just nothing is it really, and they've run away. Um, so I think it was... 225 was it 275 not too sure right you see I was coming around on this flank now as well but on this on this occasion he's coming across me he's coming in that way which I thought was a bit bizarre really to be honest all these units in the front here they've been exposed to decent fire from my guards have now had it he's now got a decent line together here though it's taken him a while to organize it but you see he's got two units here now they're coming across as well because they're wasted and they want to sort of fill up this middle area here i can't really sort of fill that area at the moment because some of those troops will just be broken and we're doing pretty well we're just shooting at anybody that's appearing anyway so there didn't seem to be much point what i should really have done at this stage was was taking some men from here and then uh, move them over to this point here but hey there's time for that yeah, my men are good, so I, I could rely on them. So I thought, I mean, look, 209 out of 225, so they're doing really well still, aren't they? He's got 294 out of 309. Now these look like they're coming in, don't they? They've, they've got almost a blind spot there, really. And some, if I'd have brought that militia on, you know, that had um, 
uh, from the campaign map, I'd have had those in that building there actually, you know, sort of supporting this corner position. Anyway, here he comes. Now let's have a quick look over here because I was always suspicious you know, when he started to engage that way, what would he be doing over here? And you should be able to see, oof, a bit of fun now with those puckle guns, which should be firing again. Where are we? Oh, I was hoping they'd be firing that way, but they're not. They're firing that way, aren't they? What have we got here? Certain casualties? No. No, I thought they'd fire that way, but they're not doing, are they? Yeah, just under small arms fire, aren't they? Oh, it's a shame, really. You didn't get to see very much from the puckle guns. But they were effective. They took a substantial number of these away, actually, I think. And they certainly put the enemy off from attacking at that point, there's no doubt about it. Um, right, now, we're starting to get engaged here against large numbers. We've got three units here, two there, that's five, all cornering on these two units here. So that's not looking very good, five against two. In fact, this unit here is taking the brunt of it all. Uh, 191 out of 225. I was prepared to let them carry on doing that. I knew this was happening. I've got my, my horse over here. Um, I will be reinforcing them shortly, but for now, I'm just seeing what happens, because I was fully expecting this unit to come round so I could then charge in with my horse. Obviously I'm watching other things on the battlefield because I'm directing events, but there was a general's bodyguard over there as well which I was expecting to go in at any time. This unit is going to be suffering now, that's one that went um, fairly early. Um, this one here, 166 now, and he's down to 219, so we're fi fighting well, fighting really well. I don't think you can see much of it here. It's Although it's pretty fierce, it's amongst the trees, it's hard to sort of pick out what's going on, I think. Um, okay. Now, if we look over, he has got bayonets, so it's not a complete whitewash on our side, but um, look, he's down to 205 out of 300 now. This unit now, either with firing or fighting uh, by hand, um, has seen off probably three units by now. Now we've got um, uh, a position now where we've, we've got him outflanking us on this side. Now this committal of his troops is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted them all to bunch up, whoops, sorry about that again, in, into this area here. Um, now I know my men are struggling here, uh, 126, they're almost down to half. I've stretched out that line even further and I'm bringing some guard over. Oh no, they're just line infantry, I thought I brought guard over. Ah, I didn't realise that. When I was doing it, I thought there were guard that I was bringing over. I've got them on melee attack, and you'll notice soon that my horse are going to find themselves in this position here. Let's just see what's happening over here while that's while they're positioning themselves. You've got an idea what's happening there, haven't you? So, okay, over here we're engaging him with fire. I refuse the, um, the flank slightly. I don't know if you can see that on here. Um, in fact. Maybe it hasn't quite happened yet. No, it hasn't quite happened. Um, in a little... Oh, yes, it has. Yeah, look, look. If you look down the line there straight, you can see I refused the flank slightly there because he was beginning to get a flank advantage on there, and I obviously didn't want that to happen. Oh, we're going to see the puckle guns do something. Again, I think he might just be concealed by that hill there. Concerned casualties uh, sustained. Well, you'll see at the end of the battle anyway the number of men that this puckle gun um, has actually taken out and it is quite a substantial amount believe you me I mean they're, they're directly in front of the puckle gun these have been shooting as well of course but not all in the same area right now the horse that was over here on the um, the, the left they've gone charging in now into the flank and after I charged my horse into his flank here he engaged with his um, with his general um, so uh, I thought that was about the time then when I needed to be bringing my guard round, that's that's these here. Oh no, no, hang on, not the guard. It was the line infantry, wasn't it? Yep, the line infantry are in there now. That's is that now they're the horse. Uh, 83 out of 225. They're the original ones, I think, and they're the ones I've sent in. 109 out of 225. Okay, they're taking firing as well, of course, before they've even got in there. So, okay, a bit of a mess in there, but it's three units on three. Um, you can see my horse are engaging his CO as well. Um, at some point, it gives me the message. Yeah, you can see his numbers going down there. At some point, it gives me the message that his general has been killed as well. 
uh, which breaks the general morale of his army anyway. Not like it does in the ancient battles, you know, when they all suddenly give up when the general's no longer there, but uh, anyhow, let's have a look, see how we're doing. Uh, well, he's now got 35 out of... Or is that... Yeah, 33 out of 48. And we've got 67 out of 90. So it is a bit of a, it is a bit of a tough fight that one. There's another Spanish unit that's going there. Um, it's down to 111. We should be getting a bit low now. 89 out of 225. 77 out of 225. Um, right now, what's happening is this unit here is coming round this side here. Now that we feel fairly secure here, and it's coming out into that area. Right. Hmm. Okay, still on this side. Well, we're winning that firefight. He didn't get the flank on me, and now he's struggling. So, virtually everything is broken in the middle there now. It may well come back, but it's pretty shattered. If you look over here, I don't know if you can see it. Provincial Cavalry, 44 out of 90. It still has half its numbers after being fired at for, what, more than 20 minutes, as I said, in the battle. You know, it's done incredibly well um, by hiding amongst those buildings. It really did make a difference. Either that or it's just the AI being kind to themselves. I really don't know, but perhaps even just a little bit of both. But um, anyhow, that's the uh, the enemy on the run now on this side. I, I'm going to chase him off with my horse. Anything that's broken gets chased by horse. Anything that's shattered is left. The infantry are drawn back into line, um, just in case any of these broken units decide that they want to come in and have a piece of the action. Right, okay. Now, at some point, I think I assumed at this point that his horse was broken. Let me just speed this up again a little bit because I'm def desperately running out of time here. Um, you should see that I start to bring my troops forward here to try and get some kind of a flanking overlap on him. In fact, that unit there looked like it was advancing while broken, didn't it? But it isn't. You can see here his horse. 43 out of 44 now, so he's still taking hits. Now, come on, I'm sure it happens soon. Maybe I was still a little preoccupied with the um, uh, the horse over this side chasing off broken troops. I wanted to make sure that I, I was you know, completely shattering the broken ones. As soon as they went to shattered, I brought them back, by the way, brought the horse back in. Um, there's my horse all the way over there. Yep. You'll see those coming back in very soon. Let me just double speed this because it's just not happening quickly enough, is it? Uh, over to here and where am I? Yeah, here we go now. Starting to come out. Now watch what happens when I start to do this. As soon as I bring those round and break that line up, so people might be saying, hang on, why didn't you advance much earlier? Yeah. Watch what happens with his horse. That's now down to 43 out of 90. Remember, I'm, I'm moving that centre out so that I can attack his flanking um, movements from his flank. Right, still on 43. Hardly anything lost. The other thing I did, by the way, at this point, was I had my um, uh, puckle guns limbered up. As soon as I got them limbered up and moved these men round for this flanking attack, he appeared. And I must admit, he did surprise me. I realised at this point that he was coming in. Whoops, get it down to normal speed now. I realised that he was coming in, and um, although I kept my men move me, moving, because I thought they'd get into position in time, what I actually did was put them on... Um, uh, melee attack as well. 182 out of 188. I want to see how many I lost now in this movement here. 180 out of 188. Now I did have 182. He was down to 43, so he's lost quite a few, whether from firing or whatever. I'm down to 179 out of 182. Uh, I didn't check how many I had on here, but they've got 177 out of 188. Now this is the thing that worried me. This is the point when I suddenly realised Hang on a minute, the artillery are still targeting the horse. I thought, oh no, I'm going to lose men to my own artillery. But look, only 178, and over here, uh, 148. Now I do suspect that maybe, you see that there? That maybe that's something to do with the artillery hitting them. I can't really see 
closely enough to find out if it is or not. I bet you it is. You see that? Amongst my own men. So I think him coming charging into me that way... Yep, look at that. It was my own artillery. That's what he did. He managed to do it, and I missed it. I have, to, I have to admit, I missed it. So what you'll probably find is, me firing at him throughout the whole game with the artillery, yeah, was not as effective as that one shot, probably, against my own men. That's how lethal it is. When you target the artillery on the enemy, the AI is crippling to you. It says, right, okay, you've got the artillery targeting them, I'm going to be a guided missile. And that's exactly what they are. They guide your own missiles to your own troops, and you do more damage to your own troops than, than, than you do to his. Anyway, you can see what's going to happen here now. Um, he's only got um, uh, this one unit left over here. The, the horses are actually broken and shattered, as I remember. Yes, they are. They're completely shattered. Everything else is virtually broken off the field. I've got a, f a strong defensive line all the way. I left the artillery on them then. As they started to retreat, I thought, well, what's the point? I might as well carry on. Oh no, in fact, I didn't actually. There was one infantry unit. Is it this one here? It was a large infantry unit. I don't think it had even been involved in the action. Is it that one? Yeah. Look at that, 300, and it's broken. Uh, that's concerned with army losses. I thought it was the artillery um, that was taking that one out, but obviously not. So anyway, it's about to go anyway, because um, you can see that uh, um, uh, that is not going to be able to sustain the flanking fire from these when they get completely into position. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time on this, because you'll see the battle results um, shortly. And I've gone well over time on this video again. What a nuisance, eh? Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. That was um, Guard Battle. What, 485 lost, 5,538 the enemy gone, and uh, that, that was just a little bit too easy, wasn't it, really? Although the line infantry did suffer here, didn't they? I think everybody did well, though, didn't they, really? Bearing in mind what I was asking them to do. In fact, how did the Puckle Guns do? Puckle Guns? 191 for, not like 9 then, but it's non-lost, isn't it? Excellent stuff. OK, right, well, I think that's got to be it now for this video. Um, I don't think I've got time to show any more. I'll just repair these these places in this place rather uh, before I move on. And structure. Oh crikey! Nothing in there at all, is there? Right. Okay. And uh, God did well, didn't they? Hardly got any problems at all. But uh, oof, he certainly suffered. Right. Okay. Um, I'll get this video on. Hopefully, I might even upload two tonight. You never know your luck. In fact, have I got one before this? Um, I have. Yes, I've got one before this. So I've got two. So it might be um, an extra day before this one goes up. But anyhow, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, will you please? Um, yeah, like I said before in a previous video, it, um, it does help. There's no doubt about it. Thanks a lot.